So today, today, I will be combing out my locks. I know, I know, some of y'all are gonna feel some type of way about it, and I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. <laughs> Look, make your plans to Shonda, the online slayer. Leave a comment, sure to welcome all haters. Like a dislike, she still gonna keep it radar and move on to the next. So keep her on your radar. Now keep on watching and you can learn a little more. Hit subscribe and then like, leave a comment below. I have to, I have to. Personally for me, I'm going through a lot of things with my hair. It's extremely dry. For some reason I'm having a really bad buildup under my locks. Ow! I don't think this happens for everybody, but I really didn't treat my hair right before I even locked my hair. I've been locked for over a year now and I just untwisted my fresh retwist. Uh, so let me just show y'all kind of like, I don't know if you can see, you see a lot of, a lot of uh, fro parts. I just, I just want a fresh start. So to start off, I'm going to tell you all the things that I have, which the first thing is a spray bottle, and it's just regular water in there. I bought a super huge bottle of conditioner. Also, I bought a detangler. Hopefully this actually works. This is a Pentel comb. It's got the metal, it has the metal ending. Um, so that's what I'll use to be able to pick through the locks. First, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to really, 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 like really, really wet this up. I thought these water bottles were so cute, but they spray so weird. So I really wet that whole lock up. I'm so nervous, I'm excited, but I'm nervous. <laughs> Let's see, I'm gonna put some more in here. Oh, it smells good. And then the towel. <laughs> I'm going to spray it with the detangler if I can get it off. All right, guys. So I fully wet this whole lock up. Okay, and here I go. So basically what you wanna do is, let me see. I'm trying not to fully be in here so you can see what's going on. Okay, so <laughs> we have the lock right here, right? And basically I'm gonna start from the bottom and I'm just gonna keep sticking this uh, pintail comb through the bottom of the lock to untangle it. And you're basically gonna do that the whole time and work your way up to the top. <laughs> I know that this has taken people a while to do. Um, I hope that it doesn't take me too long. I'm really praying that I have the patience to keep trying this because I'm already wanting to comb it out. <laughs> I think our shit is real. Shit is getting real. Woo! I'm wondering if because the ends are going to be split anyways, I'm wondering if I can just cut the bottom off and start that way. Bear with me. I'm here. So what I'm gonna try to do is, I'm going to, if you can see, just cut off the bottom part, the tip, and oh, this is much easier, y'all. So you know, like. <laughs> Oh, I'm automatically going into it now. See, okay, so you know, they say the tips are usually damaged anyways with split ends. Um, so, and I mean, that wasn't that much off my hair. So I just cut my tips off and I'm actually able to get right on in here and start pulling the hair apart. It's much easier now. I know it's gonna take some patience. So yeah, I'm gonna keep doing this one. Um, I'm going to show y'all the process through this first lock. Mm -hmm. 
this. All right, so it has been two hours and I don't know how many I've gotten. I think I've gotten six locks, um, maybe a little more. I have no idea, honestly. And you know what's so crazy? It's only been this front row, <laughs> this side of my head, not even this side. So two hours down, I've got the first row down. Somewhere in the second parts is full of light conditioner. I have such a crook in my neck right now. It hurts, okay? My hands are cramping up. Let me tell you about the comb. I broke the comb. So th this is the comb. I've got pieces missing <laughs> from it because of my hair, but I'm still going, okay? So I've gone to other combs. I'm probably not gonna finish tonight, but I'm gonna keep going. All right, I'll let y'all know when I get to the next part. Rise and shine. Last night I ended up eating and just straight passing out. So I'm back up. It's the next day. Uh, so far I've gotten all of these done. Um, it's just the front part. I still got a long way y'all, but it's getting easier. Like I said, all I do is cut the tips off and I just start working and that's so much faster for me. So I'm working on another one right now. And because I broke my comb, this morning I went to the store and I bought six more, six more combs just in case. So I will be prepared this time. Um, so if you definitely taking your locks out, you're gonna wanna have more than one comb just in case. So I have that. And I'm just about to get started and continue on with this journey. Hello, world. Y'all. Okay, it's day three. There's no excuse. I worked on my hair for about six hours yesterday. I was tired. Day three, I've got half my head done. So that's awesome. Oh, just in case you wanna see like the bald spots, here's like, the spots where it's really thin and kind of bald. So that's areas I'm gonna be treating. Um, but now I'm going to start working on the remaining half of my head. Rise and shine. I feel like every time, <laughs> every minute that goes by, more shrinkage occurs, but whatever. This is what I wanted. So, okay guys, so I did wash my hair already. It is technically day five. That's right, it's day five. I just started working slower and slower. The fastest that I maybe got a lockout was in about 20 minutes. I got really fast and then I just got really tired. My hands are raw, they hurt. Um, for me, pricking and prying with the, 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 the pintail comb. I went through five combs, okay, five combs, and I went through almost the whole bottle of sheer, uh, conditioner, so it's it's actually about right here. Whenever I got done, I did wash it out with this. I had a lot of dandruff. Let's see if I can put that. I had a lot of dandruff, um, a lot of flakes, and actually probably a lot of dirt I don't know so I run I've used this before it's a really good shampoo it helps to really break up that dandruff and dirt and get it out your head but the one thing about this is that it is it will dry your hair too so right afterwards I went to the old school method and I put grease on my scalp and I also put oils in my hair um, just because I really want to moisturize it right now and for me grease isn't bad it's it's just gonna protect my scalp. 
right now so that's what i did and that's about it i'm really excited about this new journey again that i'm about to go on i have no idea what i'm about to do with my hair if you guys want to follow me this year i am going to work on filling in these thin spots that i have so that way maybe we can work on that together i don't know i do thank you guys for watching me you could have been anywhere in the world but you were here with me i really appreciate that make sure you like comment and subscribe ask me any questions feel free to i'll be there to answer them for you have a beautiful day bye